The following program comes to you in color from Hollywood. The heart of the entertainment world. The Hollywood Palace. Your host, Sammy Davis Jr. Tonight, Liberace. The mascot. Producers of the amazing, the fantastic, the incredible new Pit and Prune, appearing tonight in person. And by new Everdent Ventured Cleanser Tablets. Everdent removes even stubborn stains between the teeth in minutes. We'll return to the Hollywood Palace after a word from one of our sponsors. This is the old-fashioned form of denture cleansers. This is the modern form, a concentrated tablet. It's called Effordent, and it removes even stubborn stains between teeth in minutes. Look, here is a block of denture material. It has been badly stained with food. Now watch what an Effordent tablet and warm water can do. Instantly, the water turns blue as thousands of bubbles scrub away its stain and odor. Effordent cleans with twice as much effervescent action as the leading powder. Minutes later, the blue disappears. The signal, the job is done. And when the blue has gone, look how much stain has gone. The leading powder didn't do better, even when it tried all night. Effordent removes even stubborn stains between the teeth in minutes. New Effordent. From out of the blue come the brightest dentures ever. And now, from the Hollywood Palace, here is your host, one of America's greatest entertainers, Sammy Davis, Jr. I've been a spectator to dog on long Watching the people dance While I just hum this song but tonight I'm gonna free this locked up soul inside of me. I wanna kick off my shoes. I wanna open my collar. Yes, I wanna shake, shake, shake. Oh, I wanna shake, shake, shake. I made up my mind to shake. Well, now it doesn't matter what beat or rhythm. Tonight when they get on the floor, I'll be out there with them. Oh yeah, they'll come and see a new, completely different me. I wanna kick off the shoes. And while I hope my collar And while the music grew yeah, I want to jump and holler And just shake, shake, shake I want to shake, shake, shake Hey, you gotta shake, shake, shake I mean, I want to shake, shake, shake Whoa! I never dared to get out there before I want to have some fun And if I'm gonna get me some I'm gonna kick off the shoes I'm gonna open my collar And while the music grooves I'm gonna jump in a holler And just shake, shake, shake Yeah, I want to shake, shake, shake Watch me while I shake, shake, shake Don't you know I like to shake, shake, shake
I'm back on television again. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my second season. I... <laughs> Actually, this is the first time I've been on a host on television since I had my own show. You remember my own show. It was on... Uh... No, it was off before then. <laughs> That's what it was. Actually, I knew that our show was in trouble, my show, before I even went on the air because Georgie Jessel came by to visit us. Instead of congratulating us, he gave us a eulogy. <laughs> Swell, Sam. But it, <laughs> but it really is a great honor to stand on the Hollywood Palace stage where so many wonderful stars have appeared. You know, the marks that you see down here on the stage, these are various marks for the individuals to tell them where to stand. For instance, see this mark here? This is where Bing Crosby stood, see? It's for his feet here. And then over here we have a mark for the feet of Frank Sinatra, right there. And this long one here is for the, for the feet of the wonderful Fred Astaire. And over here we have two marks here for the feet of Dean Martin, and one for his head back here. <laughs> uh, he do drink a lot, you know. <laughs> yeah, he don't fool around, folks. <laughs> Tonight, the famous Liberace, the mighty Mickey Rooney, the dynamic Miss Kay Stevens are some of the stars on our show, along with the leading entertainers from all over the world. From our first act comes from England, with a daring display of roller skating 60 feet in the air without a net in our outdoor arena. So here they are for a return engagement the sensational Bob Top and Company. Let's hear it. things about the next lady we'd like to present to you. She's one of the great entertainers of our day, and I'm extremely happy that she's here with us tonight. She's a good friend as well. May I have you meet the very talented Miss Kay Steen. really worth living 
if you're mirth giving, I want to give some to you. <laughs> When skies are gray and you say you are blue, I bring the sun. you in advance I'm not going to like your prune I see and why do you say that I say that for a very simple reason I don't like prunes mm -hmm. and why for one uh... thing prunes are wrinkled and I don't like wrinkled fruit you don't No, I don't like wrinkled fruit at all and then there's the matter of the pits disgusting yes well what do you do with a prune pit once it's in your mouth there's no way of getting rid of a prune pit gracefully I agree that's why Sunsweet has developed this brand new pitted prune you see no pits What do you mean, no pits? I mean no pits. Go ahead, try one. Oh, well, yes, may as well get it over. No pits. No pits. How do they do that? They do it. Well, they're very sweet and moist. Yes. Has Sunsweet managed to change your mind with their brand new pitted prune? Possibly. They're still rather badly wrinkled, you know. Today, the pits. Tomorrow, the wrinkles. Sunsweet marches on. This next delightfully humorous fellow has been having success, in fact, great success in some of the supper clubs. We've been following each other in nightclubs around the country. I think he belongs on big-time television, and that's why I'm so pleased that he's here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, welcome Mr. Lee Tully. Thank you very much. It's nice being here on this wonderful show with such stars as Sammy Davis Jr. and Liberace and Mickey Rooney. The only person on this show I never heard of was me, I'll be honest with you. you know. But this is actually my grandmother's favorite show. She watches this show every, every week, really. And my grandma's 84 years old. You might have seen her. She runs around in Toyador slacks. She has premature red hair. 
She goes on dates, my grandma. I came home, I said, Grandma, how'd you do on the date? She said, I had to slap him three times. I said, what happened? He got fresh? She said, no, I thought he was dead. <laughs> but you know, this town is amazing. I, I, uh, I never can drive in California. I get too nervous here. I was, I was out driving yesterday. There's a fellow in front of me doing about 30 miles an hour, and a cop grabbed him. He said, all right, buddy, pull over. I got to give you a ticket. He said, what I do wrong? He said, you don't have any taillight. He said, no taillight. He was screaming. The cop said, don't get nervous. It's only a $5 ticket. He said, look, officer, to you, it's a $5 ticket. But to me, it means I lost a wife. Two kids and a trailer. <laughs> Thank you. And as luck would have it, I'm driving along and I get into an accident. Would you believe this? I got hit by a 1932 Hudson. Son of a gun, he found me. And I'll tell you how it happened. I was stopped at a red light. And the fellow behind me, he stopped at a red light. But the red light he stopped at was attached to my rear fender. <laughs> I don't mind getting hit in the front. You know why? You can see it coming. You can duck. You can hide in the glove compartment. But when they sneak up behind you and they give you a rap, you lay there helpless. And all you do is look in your rearview mirror and you see directly behind you a ridiculous grin behind the steering wheel. <laughs> and they always give you the same signal after they hit you. They always do this. <laughs> but I'm in the car. I want to get out of it. I don't want to start an argument. I can't start the car. Something had happened, it stalled. Now I'm looking for somebody to push me for about a half hour and nobody stops. Finally, a woman pulled up. I said, Madam, would you mind pushing my car? I'm stuck. Oh, she said, I'll be very happy to. I said, by the way, my car is an automatic shift. It has to go 40 miles an hour before it starts. She said, okay. She left, I got back in my car. I looked in my rear view mirror and there she was coming at me 40 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, it's been one of those months. I just moved, I live in New York City and I moved to a very nice neighborhood right on Central Park. Very quiet there. The only sounds I hear at night are the screams for help. <laughs> and these screams are from the cops. <laughs> My first day there, I said to the cop on the corner, I said, pardon me, officer, how far is it to the subway? He said, I don't know, nobody ever made it. <laughs> but you know, finding an apartment today in any big city is always very difficult. I found out the only way to find a nice apartment is read your local newspaper. No matter where you live, let's say you live in Chicago, you read the Tribune. In Los Angeles, you have the Times. In New York City, we have the Times. Now, these papers all have a section called the classified section. It's in the back of the newspaper. There's only one problem. Everything is abbreviated. Nothing is spelt out. You have to be a genius to understand the ads. Now, let's presume for one moment that you're looking for an apartment. Now, you don't look under apartments, you look under apts. <laughs> A-P-T-S, for short. Under apts, now, you have two choices. Fern or unfern. Well, according to the papers, I needed what they call an unfern app. Because I have my own fern. I mean, so why should I get a fern app that we stuck with their lousy fern? So one Sunday, I bought the Sunday Times. I had two little boys help me carry it home. I got home and I turned to the section marked apps. And I'm reading the ads, I'm trying to figure them out. And one of the ads caught my eye, and this is what it said. For rent, a beautiful app on Sint Pick Whist. <laughs> Central Park West, I figured that out. And the ad said it's only a Fiv Bill Wick from the sub. <laughs> Five block walk from the subway. Well, this sounded nice. I got on the sub. I took the sub of Sint Pick Whist. I took a Fiv Bill Wick to a big brown brick build. I got to this big brown brick build and I pushed the button on the door marked sub. It's S-U-P-T. Every building has a sub. Some buildings even have a son of a sub. <laughs> and a sub came out, happened to be a woman. I said, how do you do, sub? I came to look at your app. <laughs> he said, what are you, wise guy? <laughs> I said, no, the app you got for rent in the news. <laughs> oh, she said, did you come to see my fern? <laughs> I said, lady, I don't know where your fern is, but I think I came to see your unfern. <laughs> oh! She said, this is a beautiful app. Let me describe it to you. First of all, this app has a lar pick win <laughs> overlooking the rib. And it also has a snick live rum. <laughs> and beside that, she said, this app has a lar purple purple. <laughs> Large marble fireplace. And beside that, she said, do you know that the elec is inkle? <laughs> the electricity is included. 
this sounded great. I got on the phone. I called my wife. I said, darling, I found the beautiful app on Sinpick Wist. It's only a fib bill with in the sub. It is a lar pick win, overlook the river, stick liberum, a lar purple furple, and the yellow gazinka. What should I do? She told me, but it wasn't abbreviated. <laughs> There are two great movie nights on ABC. When it comes to talent, Mickey Rooney is a giant among performers. He's not only a great dramatic actor, but a superb comedian. And about the only field he hasn't entered into is politics. And here he is, my very good friend, Mr. Mickey Rooney. Gosh, I was all mixed up. I thought it was Merv Griffin. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's funny that Sammy should mention politics because I was approached by the Republican Party not long ago to... Uh, they wanted a uh, short actor to run for governor of Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I'm not interested in politics. I love show business. So, I mean, where else could you work with such wonderful stars as Wallace, Barry, Norma, Shear, Clark Gable? In fact, I'll never forget the first time that I kissed that glamorous star, Joan Crawford. Oh, and it wasn't wasn't easy either because she had a Pepsi Cola bottle in her mouth at the same time. And I was I was having a little hold it, trouble hold with it, the Mickey. bubbles. What? No, Excuse me. What's the matter, Sam? Mickey, I, I know that you love show business and yes, I, I, I loved reminiscing, but you don't expect us to believe all that jazz about Joan Crawford and Pepsi Cola. Now, come on. Would you believe uh, Marjorie Maine and Kool Aid? <laughs> As I said, uh -huh. I, I love when you come up. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be the big one. <laughs> But let me ask you something. Do you mm. love reminiscing about show business as you do? Well, I do. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, yes, yes. You know, I don't know if you folks are aware of it, but Mickey and I were, were started in the business. We were both kids, right? Yeah, we've been in the show business ever since we were this tall. <laughs> what oh. would you say we are? Yeah, I'd say we're two of a kind. Yeah, right? two of a kind. For your information, we're two of a kind. Two of a kind. Uh -huh. It's my observation with two of a kind. Yeah. We started way back hey. when we were just kiddies singing the old ditties we'd fight. That's why we're two of a kind. Say, it seems great when you're seven or eight and you're reaching for a star. You don't have to reach for one Mickey, because, Daddy, that's what you are, man. Conrad Nagel. We played every part. Sing the song. Done every bit. We, we sung every song. Uh -huh. And right from the start, we knew this was it, and we couldn't go wrong. We think of those days, have to check in it fully. We're both amicably inclined. That's why we're doomed. Mickey, you know, the way you worked with all the great people, you worked with one of the most uh, imitated of all the stars, and your characterizations mm. were just marvelous. When you did Andy Hardy, I think I was probably one of the great characterizations of all time. I'll never forget how you used to go in and, and Judge Hardy would have those man-to-man -man talks with you. <laughs> and you'd walk in the room and he'd say, Ooh, hello there, Andy. <laughs> No, 
Oh, you, you've got the wrong, you've got the wrong Andy. For you, not for me. <laughs> no, Louis Stone would say, Andrew, my boy, let's have a man-to-man -man talk. Oh. It's time you learned about the birds and the bees. The birds and the bees. Gee, Dad. <laughs> You're right, Dad. Can you tell me, can you tell me all about the birds and the bees, Dad? All right, son. You see, the bird flies around and lands on the top of the tree. Uh-huh. And the bee comes along and lands at the bottom of the tree. Yeah, and then George Hamilton comes and... Takes away the birds. <laughs> I like your ending better. I get all the funny stuff. Not every time, but having a ball. I've got the reports uh -huh. that since Sandy Hardy, I'd never grow tall. Uh -huh. We've watched all the stars and we've mimicked the actors, and those are the factors we find that makes us two of a kind. It's time for meat and potatoes, old buddy. Yeah, baby. I want you to lay a little Wallace Berry on me. A little Wally Berry? Okay. A little Wally Berry. <laughs> now, now, look here. It's nice to be here. Thanks very much, Jerry. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Well, I'd like to say it really is a fine thing. <laughs> Jerry, 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 Jerry. I love to say Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. This is a short Cary Grant, right? <laughs> Listen, I don't have to say Judy, Judy, Judy anymore. How long have I been on? <laughs> uh, well, anyway, um, we've got about 392... I gotta stop moving them cards, probably. <laughs> about 392,000 postcards now. Somebody gotta learn to get this mystery voice for us here. Come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, folks. Somebody's gotta know who she is. <laughs> I know who that voice is. Why, that's the voice of Scar. That's right. That's the voice of the Scarlet Pimperdale. You All remember right. Conrad Nagel. Wait course. a minute, wise guy. <laughs> I want to tell you something. You're getting too smart, you understand? I'm going to take you in. You hear that? I'm going to take you in. Huh? About an inch here at the sleeve. <laughs> Do you think yes, I think, yes, yes. <laughs> hey, head of this hospital. Yes. 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 I'm going to give you just one week to live. <laughs> so would you mind paying your bill, please, by cash? I understand. In advance. Shall we dance? Why not? All right, give us a bus. Let me fix you up so we'll have satirical splendor. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we? Why not? Okay. We made a bit there, and we're frightfully upsetting, but where we are getting resigned to be. You know, it's wonderful. It's a lot of fun being on a show with you, you know, but, you know, all kidding aside, you are, without a doubt, the greatest living entertainer well, in the you're, world. You're very, very you kind, are. Nick. But uh, let's be honest. As far as talent is concerned, I can't hold a candle to you. Now, wait just a minute. Hey, speaking of candles, will you guys get to the station break so I can get on? Right. We'll be right back with Little Rock 
Fauci, two amazing girl acrobats from Germany, and lots more of the Hollywood palace. Can you imagine? We're going to write his wit. That's right. Tariton's got a charcoal tip and a white one, too. Together they improve Tariton's fine tobacco taste. Here are the books you wanted, dear. Why whisper? Us Tariton smokers would rather fight than switch. Tariton. Hi there, friends and neighbors. <laughs> They're lighting up Liberace's candelabra in the back here, and he'll be out in a moment. <laughs> but now let's welcome two girls from West Berlin and the most unusual and exciting display of acrobatics. I can only tell you that we watched them during rehearsal. It's the most unbelievable act you'll ever see. Keep your eyes, if you will, on the mascots.
Now, get roses every time you buy detergent. The beautiful Desert Rose Towel. Yours inside bonus, the brand new laundry detergent from Procter & Gamble. Never before a towel so beautiful. Desert Rose by Fruit of the Loom to brighten your home like a fresh bouquet of roses. Get a luxurious bath towel and king size bonus. A thirsty dish towel in giant size bonus. A soft face cloth in regular size bonus. And get a box full of power. Bonus is blue powered. Blue powers your wash to a glowing white. So get your next wash glowing white and your home filled with roses. It's a beautiful bargain from Procter & Gamble. Bonus, it's new. <laughs> There's one thing that tops two of a kind in our business, and that is one of a kind. A performer that is so unique and outstanding that there's no one else quite like him. We have such a star of such magnitude with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the inimitable Liberace.
want you to I want you to dig these threads I'm wearing, baby. Uh, <laughs> Don't turn you on. You ain't got no switches. <laughs> well, you want my honest opinion? Yeah, tell me what you think. If there's anything I can't stand, Sammy, is an overdressed performer. <laughs> you used to be so conservative. What happened? No, no, the word is reform. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, look. Yeah. These, I'll explain it to the Goyam later. <laughs> In these outfits, we look like a dance team in, in Tiffany's window. Well, let's not waste the jewelry. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We would make a great dance team, no doubt about it. Sammy Davis Jr., Lee Liberace. Yeah, I think that's pretty good billing. It's like the Will Master Trio. Should I get over there, over there? Why don't you stop? Okay, okay, I'll start this whole mess off here. Okay. I'll pick up something amusing. You know you've created theatrical suicide. <laughs> Backlash, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, let me see. I did my two steps, and you did that. I guess when you, well, I'm, if you can't lick them, join them, baby. Look out. <laughs> Pains right. and fever of a cold or flu, Bayer okay. works wonders. Two Bayer tablets bring all the pain relief power your cold can use. Sure, that extra care and thoughtfulness works wonders I too. But to relieve the aches and fever, Bayer works wonders. Bayer aspirin is pure aspirin, not just part aspirin. No pain, no fever. Bayer works wonders. If you're one of the millions of people who sometimes rely on a laxative, take the best laxative, Philips Milk of Magnesia. When thousands of doctors across the country were asked, do you ever recommend Milk of Magnesia? The overwhelming majority said they did. You see, Philips Milk of Magnesia is a laxative plus an antacid. No single purpose laxative can give such complete yet gentle relief. Take Philips Milk of Magnesia, the kind of laxative doctors recommend. Uh, oh, that Lee Liberace, he's something else. <laughs> you know, my folks were in show business for many, many years before I entered into it, before they put me in show business, but they never had a chance to play the palace, and here I am. You know, the greatest thing to a performer is to play the palace, because the excitement would always be so, I have been told that you put all your best numbers together to give the palace audience the best you have to offer. So, here I go. I've wined and dined on mulligan stew. I've never wished for turkey. I've hitched and hiked and drifted too. From Maine to Albuquerque. 
And when I go out swinging, I try to play it cool. I'm sorry to say that I've never met Mr. Peter O'Toole. Social circles spin too fast for me. My oh, Bohemia is the place I want to be. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She loves the theater, but won't arrive there late. She'll never argue with a cat she wouldn't hate. And that is why the lady is a tramp. Won't go to Coney, any beaches divine. She adores the baseball game, thinks the bleachers are fine. She refuses to believe Maury Wills is a friend of mine. That's why the lady is a tramp. She likes that green grass. Man, when it's growing under her shoes, she digs James Brown singing the blues. She's flat, and that's that. She's all alone when she lowers her lamp. That's why the lady is a tramp. Likes that free, fresh, wind in her hair, life without care. She is broken, but it's oak, hates California. It's smoggy and damp. That's why the lady is a trap. A swinger, a humdinger, hates San Francisco. She thinks it's too topless and damn. That's why the lady is a tramp. Why the lady? Thank you very much. Thank you. What about that band, huh? Mitchell Ayers. That is some kind of orchestra. And George Rhodes, thank you. Uh, another song that's one of our favorites. What kind of fool am I? Who never fell in love? It seems that I'm the only one that I have been thinking of. What kind of man is this that could not see what could be seen by almost everyone? But me, what kind of clown am I? What do I know of life? Why can't I cast away this mask of play and live my own? Why can't I fall in love till I don't give a damn? And maybe then I'll know a kind of fool. Oh. 
This is a... Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a, kind of a, a special night for me, not only being on the palace, but having buddies in here. Uh, my father's sitting over there. Sorry about the crack, Dad, about you never played the palace, but it's the truth. <laughs> Can't lie to nice people. Um, <laughs> and my good friend Peter Lawford is sitting here in ringside. So for the friends, the buddies, and all of you nice folks, they heard the breeze <laughs> through the trees singing with Just the start of the blues Then from a jail There came a wail From a down-hearted frail And they claimed that Believe me, they nursed it and they rehearsed it and then, then they gave out the news. Oh Lord, that the Southland did it. I said it gave birth to the blues. Next week, your host will be the big daddy of them all, Mr. Bing Crosby. Good night, everybody. everywhere are discovering it. That cigarette is longer. Sure, it's the new luxury length. Filter tip, pell-mell. Same pell-mell tobacco? Identical. Pell-mell's famous length. And a filter tip. Tastes great. Discover the luxury length cigarette. Filter tipped, pell-mell, packaged in gold. Outstanding. And they are mild. This portion of the Hollywood Palace has been brought to you by Filter Tipped Pell Mell. Luxury length, packaged in gold. Outstanding, and they are mild. Travel arrangements for overseas acts and promotional consideration furnished by Pan American Airways, world's most experienced airline. This is Dick Tufel speaking. Don't forget next week at the Hollywood Palace, Dom DeLuise, Alice Faye, Emma Fitzgerald, Bill Harris, Kendra and Alex, the Medini Brothers, the Nitwits, and your host, Bing Crosby. <laughs> <laughs>